My name is J.D. Roth and I'm the author of Your Money, The Missing Manual. People have asked me why I wrote Your Money, The Missing Manual. Who's this book for? And to be honest, I think it's for the average person. I'm just an average guy. I'm not a personal finance expert. I don't have any kind of training in uh, finance. I'm not a certified financial planner. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm just an average guy who was deep in debt. I found myself over $35,000 in consumer debt in 2004. And a couple of friends gave me books uh, about personal finance. I read those books and gradually assimilated the things that I learned and, and started practicing what the books taught. And I was able to dig myself out of debt and uh, 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 actually start building wealth. When O'Reilly came to me and said, hey, uh, do you want to write a book? Do you, do you want to write Your Money, The Missing Manual to share what you've learned with other people? I said, yeah, absolutely. I wrote Your Money, The Missing Manual to help you find ways to uh, save more, to get out of debt. Uh, the book teaches you how to draft a will, uh, how to buy a house, how to get a better deal when you buy a car. I think you'd want to buy Your Money, The Missing Manual if you wanted to have like one central book that contained all the resources uh, that you needed for basic financial decisions. So what I've tried to do is pack this book full of information covering a broad range of topics. And uh, in each topic, I explain the basics that you need to know, the basics you need to know to pay off debt, the basics you need to know to negotiate your salary, the basics you need to know to uh, buy a car. And then after giving you these basics, I also point you to uh, places where you can get more information. So I point you to other books and I point you to websites where you can get more detailed information if what's here is not enough for you. But I've done my best to make sure that Your Money, The Missing Manual does contain enough information to get you started on what you're doing. And another thing I've tried to do with this book is collect together stories, not just my own personal story, although there's some of that in there, but stories from other people that I've met who've managed to do things uh, with their money to, to become more successful. And so I try to share uh, about one of these in every chapter. I think there's about a dozen stories in the book. I think the three main points I'm trying to get across with Your Money, The Missing Manual. Number one, nobody cares more about your money than you do. There are all these experts out there trying to tell you that there's just one right way to do things and you've got other people trying to sell you products and services and you've got your friends and your family giving you advice. But it, what it comes down to is it's your money and you've got your own priorities, your own goals, and your own sets, set of skills. And nobody cares more about your money than you do. And you've got to make decisions about that. And so I've tried to write a book that will help you make decisions, smart decisions about money. Uh, second of all, and this kind of ties back into the first point, is you've got to do what works for you. There aren't any one-size-fits-all answers. Each of us is different, and we've got to do different things with money. Uh, I like to think of uh, paying off debt, for example. There are some people who tell you, well, to pay off debt, you've got to start with your high interest rates. Uh, loans first and pay those off before anything else. And that's a great way to go. That's absolutely a great way to go. But for some people it works better to pay off the low balances first. And so in Your Money, The Missing Manual, I try to give different options for people. And then the third thing that I think I'm trying to get across with the book is that it's more important to be happy than it is to be rich. It, it's, it's great to be wealthy and there are studies that show that the more money we have, the happier we generally are. But it's not all about the money. And so in Your Money, The Missing Manual, I try to explain how it's possible to be happy and to have money at the same time and how these can work off each other and uh, you can achieve both goals.